Good morning. Hi guys. Good morning, Wynn. Good morning, Jamie. Happy Lunar New Year's Eve. Let me know if my music, actually let me turn it down a teeny bit. Let me know if it gets too loud. I turn it. All right, I don't really have like a, like a plan for today. I'm just kind of gonna go through the wiki, I guess. And if there's like, and, and if you have knowledge of things you want to share, go right ahead. Because, so I got an Omari, I got the good ending, I believe. But I think there are things that I didn't unlock. So maybe there was a better ending? I don't know. Hi, turn it. Hey, hey, move. Move, 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 please. <laughs> there are two routes with five endings. Okay. The game's plot will branch into two routes once Sunny wakes up the morning of three days left after you finish the prologue. Hell will be knocking on the door, asking you to hang out with him. The route taken depends on how you want to respond to the knocking. Answer or ignore it. Which I answered. The Sunny route is the main path of the game. The route takes effect by answering both of Kel's knocks on the door in Sunny's house and participating in the faraway town segments of gameplay. Faraway town can be explored and this route will also provide a proper resolution to the story. All endings can be attained on this route. The Omori route is the alternate route where Sunny decides not to answer Kel's knocking, which leads to him becoming more of a hikikomori than before. Is that where Omori comes from? Wait, I never even learned that. Hold on. Hi, Captain. Good morning. Oh, it is. It's for H Hikikomori. Why was it on the piano? Wasn't it written on the piano? Why is Amori inscribed on Mari's piano? Huh. There is another piano in the real world in the church that also has Omori inscribed into it. Pretty sure it's meant to be the brand of pianos in that world. Okay, I, I guess. That's kind of funny. Omori is the piano brand, like we have Yamaha IRL. Sunny based Omori off the piano, including the physical appearance being black and white. The Omari route is the alternate route where Sunny decides not to answer Kel's knocking, which leads to him becoming more of Hikikomori be than before. Hikikomori, by the way, is, I believe, basically like a shut-in. Um, someone who does not leave their house. Yeah, a form of severe social withdrawal. So if you don't answer the door, you just like stay in your house the entire game. He will instead 
do chores given by his mother while continuing to deal with something. Something we learned was the, like, manifestation of the guilt that both Omri and Basil felt when looking at Mari's dead body. This route notably expands Headspace's content. Oh, okay. But doesn't offer a proper resolution to the story as Sunny is not able to explore faraway town and reconnect with his former friend. So I was definitely on the sunny route. In this route, the story primarily revolves around Sunny deciding to face reality after spending four years as a hikikomori before moving away in four days. Along with that, he reconnects with his former friends while trying to uncover the truth behind Mari's death, which caused the friend group to drift apart in the past. Once the player is on this route, the story will diverge from the headspace segments and become more focused on Sunny's journey to move from the past. So if you decide to stay at home, does that mean that, like, headspace is way more elaborate? I spent a lot of time in there. I guess I'm... I don't know. The sunny rot endings can be attained by fighting Basil in his room after waking up in Basil's house. You get like a, you get like a black space too. Oh my god! I imagine. Oh hi, Lolly. Good morning. I imagine that's like a scarier route. After Sunny and Basil fight, they're both knocked out and sent to the hospital. While unconscious, Sunny meets Omori in white space and battles him for control one last time. It is impossible to win the fight against Omori. However, after Omori manages to overpower Sunny, this will result in a unique game over screen where the player can choose to either continue or not continue. Da 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 da. Oh, okay, yeah, I got the good ending. If the player chooses to continue after losing to Omari, the fight with him will resume, but Sunny's only option will be to play. This allows Sunny to play his duet with Mari, which was planned to be perform at, performed at the recital on the day she died. After the performance, Omori surrenders control of Sunny's mind and disappears. Sunny then wakes up in the hospital, begins to cry before getting up in a room surrounded by various flowers delivered by the townsfolk. Exiting the room prompts Sunny with a ghostly apparition of both the headspace variants of his friends and the basil stranger. Pursuing his friends leaves, leads to a dead end with a door that Sunny refuses to go through. Oh, okay. I was curious about that. Pursuing the stranger leads to Basil's hospital room, where Sunny's friends are waiting. Sunny stands in the doorway before Basil and his friends ready to tell them the truth. Secret ending. What? I didn't do this. If the player has watered Basil's plants specifically on two days left in Headspace, an additional cutscene is added after the good ending credits. Basil awakens and finds Sunny staring back at him. Both boys gaze at each other and smile as their something fades away, showing that regardless of how everyone else has reacted, the burden that they have shouldered for four years has lifted and they are both ready to move on. Holy. Aw. Well, I didn't get to see that. That's cute though. If you completed all the faraway town side quests, they all leave you flowers. Oh, that's cute. Aw. I wonder what that looks like. Wait, okay, hold on, I'm gonna switch. Is it here? No, wait. Oh, 
right, that's the same scene. Is it here? I'm in the way. It's so small. <laughs> Aww! That's really cute! That's so many flowers! I only had like two. Why is this game so cute and heartbreaking all at once? I know, right? Bad ending. Oh, okay. So if you choose not to retry when you lose the fight at the end, um, Yikes. If the player chooses not to retry or continue after losing to Omari, the latter will win control over Sunny's mind. From there, Omari wakes up in white space once again. When he enters neighbor's room to reunite with his friends, all of them appear strangely silent. However, rather than just leave into headspace for another adventure, Omari finds himself in Sunny's body, standing on the hospital balcony. Unable to accept the truth, the only option is to jump, leading to Sunny falling off the building and plummeting to his presumed death as the credits play. Whoo! I implore you to watch the bad ending because the music in it slaps. Oh, really? The Omari route, also known as the neutral route, or the Hikikomori route, is an alternate pathway unlocked by refusing to answer any of Kel's invitations to hang out in the real world. Ignore the knocking on the door and send Sunny back to bed. Sunny will take a nap, partially advancing the day, and the faraway town segments from this point on will be replaced by Sunny doing his chores on the to-do list to advance the plot. He will, what is his, what is his parent situation again? So, his mom, he lives with his mom, because she would leave him notes, and then they had a dad, but I think he, did he leave after Mari died? Because he's like not mentioned at all past that. Hello, Salty Coco, welcome. Sunny still faces and overcomes his fears. Though the hallucinations manifest more abruptly in the Sunny route, Sunny passes out and is warped to the confrontation with something in the walls. He takes a bath, falls asleep, and submerges himself in the bath to confront something in the water. When Omari reaches the church of something, the who? The what? The fuck is this? The who? Uh. -oh. His dad left after Mari died. He knows what Sunny. He know what? He knows? How do we? Huh? Whoa! Hold on. Let me find. Let me find his dad on this wiki.
It's implied that Sunny's parents know what actually happened. No fucking way. Bro. Speaking of heartbreaking, apparently during the Sunny versus Omori battle, the super distorted part of the music is supposedly Mari and Sunny's fight. Oh! People have tried to clear up the audio, but it's still very garbled, but you can definitely hear Mari scream and Sunny crying. Oh my god, what the fuck? Oh no. Okay, yeah, Sonny's dad left. After she died. Oh yeah, and that was him chop that was him chopping the tree down in that one uh door? I don't even know what to call that. Good morning, Brian. All right. Okay, hold on. Wait. So in the in the Hikikomori route, if you just stay hold up in your house, you but you you still you still face your fears, but like totally in your head, I guess. When Omori reaches the church of something at the end of Black Space, what? Black Space is a location in Omori. It is parallel to White Space which is that little room that he just sits in, and harbors Sunny's repressed fears and memories. The appearance and function of black space differs depending on the route taken. Oh. What the fuck? This is so long. What? What is this? Oh my god. Guys, this is a whole ass different game. Black space takes the form of inverted white space with slightly altered details in scenery and object properties, such as the lack of a hanging light bulb. The first iteration of the center hub filled with various dark colored doors that lead to different rooms. A monochrome picnic basket, a laptop, tissue box, and sketchbook can be found upon entering the main room. Da 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 da. Da da da. -da. Black space 2 is less linear and seems to follow a more yume esque approach where areas interconnect with each other and form a sprawling labyrinth rather than straightforward progression. Therefore, the only starting section accessible by doors is found in the main Black Space 2 hub and are mentioned in this area. For areas that are deeper in... Yeah, where's the church? It should be noted there are many entrances, entrances to Black Space 2 throughout Headspace. What? Some spawning when you defeat Humphrey, others when you reset the dream world on the Omari route. It is even possible for the player to access Black Space 2 during a sunny route run, most notably during Basil's Raft Path and Forest of Stumps in Black Space. For a larger list, what? I could have gone there? Oh, what, you mean the raft where we decapitate him? What? On Earth? Warp to Black Space 2. After getting the key, the player can still go back and ride the raft three more times! Oh my god, I rode it twice. Upon doing so, the entrance. A f oh, wait. Upon doing so, an entrance. A, a faint heartbeat noise will play in the background as Omari rides the raft with the headless basil and onwards. This will eventually allow Omari to ride the raft straight into the Weather Vane Island, one of the five primary Black Space 2 areas. Oh my. I almost got there. 
When accessing this location, there will be strong distortion effects since Omori is not supposed to be there at this time. Honestly, good thing I good thing I didn't do that then. Cause that sounds terrible. What the fuck? Okay, so Weathervane Island. Looks just like a fucked up version of Oh my god, there's so much to this. Dreamy. Dude, this game is so long. What the fuck is this? What? Okay, I need to put, I need to switch to just the other screen. Even though this fucking- the fandom fucking wiki is atrocious to view and full of ads. Shallow Sea. Wait, this is all within Weathervane Island, which is one location inside of Black Space 2. Aubrey, Kel, and Hero can all be found on different corners of the map. Getting close to them will cause the screen to glitch out and push Omari away from them, so they cannot be interacted with. However, each of their original sprites can be altered depending on the Black Space 2 events. <laughs> Look at Hero! Looking good, bud. Shallow sea is long area. Take da, da, da. it's a realistic ocean. Nice. It can be accessed by interacting with one of the scribbled figures on top of the map. If the weather vane is pointing north, doing so will transport Omori into this location. All he can do is walk left and right while exploring shallow sea. However, if the player chooses to continue moving right through eight more rooms, this will lead Omori into a room containing a purple ladder. Climbing up the ladder until reaching the top reveals a realistic hand at the top of the top corner with a severed black string tied to one of its fingers. Reaching the top will also bring Omari back to Weather Island. The small repeating room can be accessed by entering a door if the weather vane is pointing east. Walking continuously will eventually cause a room featuring a statue of Sunny's mom to appear. The statue will always continue to stare at Omari at all times. However, the statue's expression will become distorted once Omari moves behind her. If he continues to walk forward in these rooms, the area will become darker, revealing a hideously deformed creature at the end. The only way to leave is to walk backwards or simply stab Omori to warp back to the Weathervane Island. By continuing to move north in the small repeating room, up ahead features a chair 
and a hideously deformed creature inhabiting the room. The creature itself resembles a giant bloated version of Mari with her hair covering her face. Interacting with it will prompt it to say, brother, I'm so glad you're here in a tone similar to that of Mari. <laughs> Look at this cast. Okay, let's. I'm in. I have entered Wiki Hell. I, why did I come here? Because I'm interested in knowing what the church is. The Church of Something. This location serves as the final segment of Black Space, as Omori can no longer suppress the truth behind Mari's death to protect Sunny. The exterior snowy hills is snow-covered path, featuring remnants of Sunny's long-forgotten memories. There are various shadowy blobs resembling something located near the stairs and silhouettes of red hands. Oh... Red space? Is that what this is? Too many damn spaces. It is an eldritch location. Omari visits when needing to repress the truth. The Red Room, alongside Mari's home, is probably the most convoluted and secretive area to get into of, in all of Omori. Oh my god. You gotta like, wh what? Wait until 143 seconds pass by and then jump off the tiles. This will transport you. Da -da -da. What? Why? Jeez. Okay, hold on. We're gonna go back to the routes. I haven't- I didn't finish that. When- okay, so this is the Hikikomori route. When Omori reaches the Church of Something at the end of Black Space. So this is after he has, like, closed off and he's mostly in like his head he saves headspace basil while stranger scolds him for evading the truth once again sunny gets pulled into black space and stranger forces him into a fight after a futile struggle sunny is consumed by his despair and struggles up through red space where omari descends from his throne and saves sunny from his anguish Stranger gives up, and Omari grabs Basil before the both of them escape with the assistance of a hand. They ascend out of black space to the neighbor's bedroom, and Omari goes to sleep to restart his adventure. Neighbor's bedroom? What? Neighbor's bedroom is a location exclusive to the Omari route. It can only be reached once by climbing a staircase of red hands after rescuing Basil and escaping black space. Oh. It's a large floating room that resembles the overall layout of Neighbor's room. It notably features six beds, each one for Omari and friends. The big yellow cat. <laughs> All characters are shown sleeping there, per the instruction of the big yellow cat who guards the room, in order to cause headspace to be reset. 
Once Basil heads back to sleep, Omari has the option to interact with his sleeping friends. Each one of them will talk through their sleep. He can also look at the objects that populate the room. Heading upwards will cause the screen to zoom up to the Why is Big Yellow Cat have its own wiki page? Who informs Omori to rest as he is safe with him. Other than that, there is nothing else to do but simply rest in bed. Doing so will end the black space segments and headspace and set headspace back to its original state. So it's like a hard reset? Dude, this guy's got serious issues. He has suppressed trauma. Yeah, like. Holy moly. <laughs> Imagine being so fucked up. This is what your brain is like. Yeah. Big yellow cat. Before Headspace came into existence, the big yellow cat was one of Sunny's three imaginary friends. Alongside Abby and Humphrey. Who the fuck is Abby? What? I know Humphrey. Humphrey's the whale. What is Abby? What? Abby is a character and enemy in Omori. Abby is known as the wisest of the three giant creatures of Headspace, now banished to the abyss for unknown reasons. She also serves as a boss exclusive to the Omari route, accessible after collecting all the keys that complete the hangman drawing. What the hell? Abby is a large disembodied head laying down embedded in the ground. She can only be viewed from the side where one of her eyes and the outline of a fringe can be seen. Eight tentacles rise from the ground in front of her, forming a part of her. Little is known about Abby's original personality, but she now comes off as very childlike and innocent, as her speech patterns consist of many pauses and is riddled with grammatical errors. She is genuinely frightened when defeated, repeatedly apologizing and asking for forgiveness. If spared, she shows sincere gratitude through a multitude of gifts for Omari and her and friends. She's stripped of wisdom and banished to the abyss for committing an act of some kind against her better judgment. It is speculated that she was banished for telling Sunny to forgive himself for Mari's death. If she is spared, she will thank Omari and tell him that her tentacles are spread throughout headspace and will gift the team with gifts, if found. Abby will remain in her prison and speaking to her again has a remark that she has forgotten a certain truth that she used to know. All the little tentacles. God, the, the, the fucking tentacles had a meaning. All the tentacles around the <laughs> around the game. What the fuck? Okay, okay, okay. Let's rewind. Big yellow cat is one of the three imaginary friends.
The big yellow cat appears to be based off a play structure that can be seen in Faraway Park. He also resembles a calendar shown in Sunny's treehouse. Keep thinking about Sunny's parents. What do you even do if one of your kids kills the other by accident? I know. Like, I can't even, I can't even begin to fathom the, the, the state I would be in. Okay, the abyss. Did I go there? No. Is, okay, so this is where Abby is banished to. It is a shadowy realm that houses many dark secrets. Angie. Oh. Kind of cute. There's a lot in this game. Yeah, holy fuck. I could put so many more hours into this. What the hell? Okay, okay, rewind, rewind. Forest of Stumps, don't care. Apparently that was another way to access black, uh, the, the, the red space? Where did Humphrey come from? Why did you exist? Imaginary friend? According to Omocat, the Humphrey Dungeon serves as their least favorite area in the game. In fact, the console ports were originally planned to have an option where players can use dynamite to blow up Humphrey, thus allowing them to skip the entire area. <laughs> okay, back to the different routes. Tabs open. Red room. Ooh. It's a special sub area of red space which can be accessed through Maria's home. Wait, what is Maria's home? <laughs> Mari is home. Well, this looks awful. An area found within Black Space 2. Recreation of Sunny's house. But it but it's but it's fucked up. But it's fucked up? Basically, it's fucked up. Ha! Ah! Oh, nah. No thanks. No thank you. I saw this bitch in the mirror. She has a name? Hell Mari? Location? <laughs> the fuck? Hell. During the Omari route, a player may access Red Space another way, at Sweetheart's Castle, in front of the Keeper of the Castle's room. There is another room with what seems to be a grate emitting red light in the middle. When Omari is tagged as the leader of the team, 
Standing facing the grate for a few seconds will teleport Omori to a place reusing what seems to be Red Space's background. The player can only move forward. That will eventually lead to encountering Sunny, who wordlessly turns around and leaves the screen. Continuing forward will teleport Omri back to the graded room. Why, huh? Why do you know it's called hell? Whatever. Alright, fuck this. Get out of here. Boom. 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 So after you restart, you do like a soft reset on your brain. Omori takes over Sunny as he begins his final day, going through some of his last chores before moving day, being silently tormented by something all the while. Once you begin one day left in the reconstructed headspace, Omori reunites with his friends. They repeat the same dialogue from the very start of the game and Omari heads into the empty forest playground to greet Mari and Basil. This time, Basil remains in the sanctity of Mari's picnic blanket, safe from ever discovering black space again. From this point on, the entire headspace can be explored freely. Areas can be revisited to find new things to do, new side quests to complete, new bosses to face, and new equipment for the party. Snow Globe Mountain and the Abyss are exclusive to this route. Snow Globe Mountain? There's whole ass locations. What? That looks cute. There's, there's so much. There's so much. There's too much. There's so much to this game. Alright, anyway. To end the route... Wait, hold on. By conquering all three phobia-based somethings, Omori can explore black space too. To end the route, stab while in white space to awaken in Sunny's house. You can go to your bed and choose to sleep till moving day. Only the neutral endings are available to you here. The neutral endings are... Let's see. Ooh, yikes. On the Sunny route, the neutral endings can only be attained by choosing to leave Basil behind after Sunny awakens in the former's house. After sleeping, Sunny will enter white space as Omari. The door to the neighbor's room will not appear, and the only way to exit white space is through the stab option. Basil will always die in the neutral ending. Though it does not affect the ending, if Sunny goes back to sleep in Basil's house, he will awaken once more to find his friends and Polly in the hallway distraught over Basil's suicide. Opening Basil's door reveals his corpse slumped against the wall with a large hole in his abdomen represented by something. Oh, yikes. The only option will be to return home. If Sunny already saw Basil's corpse, a bloody and mutilated version of Sunny stands atop the stairs and entering Sunny's room reveals a black mark over the bed. On the Omari route, this also happens when Sunny leaves the piano room at night during the one day left segment. The rest of the game will then play out depending on if Sunny picks up a knife in the kitchen or not before going to sleep. Hmm. Abandon ending. On the Sunny route, if Sunny chooses to resume sleeping in his own bed, this will lead to a repeat of the white space intro scene from the start of the game. Omori appears in white space as normal, but there is no door to headspace and the light bulb is still missing. All Omori can do is stab himself to wake Sunny up. This will lead to the moving day segment where Sunny wakes up and is ready to leave Faraway Town. 
On both routes, after exiting his house, Sonny silently meets his mom in her car while something follows him, leaving his distraught friends behind with no answers. This will lead to a darkened screen as sirens play over the credits. Oh. Knife ending. Can't imagine how that's gonna go. The knife ending is the ending where Sonny commits suicide by stabbing himself. There are two variants of this ending depending on the route taken by the player. Sunny route, if Sunny picks up the knife on the kitchen counter before heading to bed, using the stab option in white space as Omori will cause the resulting effects to impact Sunny's physical body. Sunny's answering machine will continuously ring as he lays on his bed, clutching a knife into his bleeding chest. This will lead to a darkened screen as the ringing of the phone that will never again be answered plays over the credits. During one day left and moving day, an alternate knife ending can take place only if Sonny chooses to stab himself any time within his house upon waking up. Doing so will lead to the same darkened screen as before. The only difference is that something's eyes are shown swarming the screen while the constant ringing of a phone plays in the background. Note that this ending will be rendered inaccessible if Sonny opened the door for Kel on three days left, but chose to ignore him on two days left since Kel has confiscated the steak knife on the previous day. Oh. Man, I was so confused when like the reveal first dropped because I like genuinely thought that Sunny like did like that he fucking killed her on purpose. But then you get the little narrative of like, he was just mad because she, or he, we don't know how the violin broke exactly, but the violin that all of his friends worked to buy him together broke. And that's why he got mad. Dude, the fandom wiki is struggling to load right now. This website was a mistake. Oh, here's the bit where basil, if you water his plants. Man, y'all fucked each other up, huh? Basil took your eye, yeah. Oh, and then this scene is different depending on who, who wins control. Wow. Okay, what else did I want to know about? Hold on, is there- Dreamy, you said that there's a bad end that I should watch because the music is good? Bring a yield to YouTube. Do you know, like, specifically which? You said it's the Omari versus Sunny fight? is busted.
Trying to find one that's not a billion years long. Yeah. I mean, like, I saw a lot of this already. God, this, thought, this music is so good already, though. This part was so good. The way that the music would get like, like distorted. I think this is the ending where you like jump off the roof, right? Okay, and then it like plays the same thing again. You're here forever now. Oh damn, they just go right to it. Oh, <laughs> whoa. Damn, dude. Close. Oh, this song. No way. I like I've I've listened. I know the song. I listen to the song. I had no idea it was associated with Oh my god. Hello motherfucker. Hi apricot. <laughs> Welcome.
Oh, these credits kind of slap, though. Oh, that was really cool how the background was changing. Wow. Thanks for lurking, Lolly. Oh my god, and then it changes the fucking... the opening thing? Wow. Ugh. That was good. Alright, what else? I should probably wrap up soon. Is there anything else I should look at? That essentially sums it up. The game is either you forgive yourself or you don't. Or you fall further into delusion. Yeah. Wow, what a good game. Probably it then. It's wild how deep it goes though. Like, I think I'm gonna do some more wiki diving on my own time, cause like. There seems to be a lot of, like, oh, you can access this secret spot by spinning around in circles eight times and then killing yourself, you know? Like, like there seems to be a lot going on in the fucking data files and shit. I saw something about, what was it, like 143 is like a really significant number for some reason and is used in all, in like, like 143 had its own wiki page. 143. A reoccurring motif associated with Mari. It means I love you? Oh, like, um... Wow. Oh my god, there's so much. One hundred forty-three could mean the phrase "I love you," the concept originating from the keeper of a lighthouse to communicate with his family using a sequence of flashing lights. What the fuck? There's so many instances of one hundred and forty-three. Alright, I need to stop. <laughs> oh, 
Also, thank you for the stream stream. Okay. All right, we got a couple people to choose from. Um, Lolly is playing Dong and Rampa, the first game. If you would like to watch. I am going to raid Lambda, who popped in the other day and is playing Star Rail. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for something. Genshin or Sariel? I think I'm doing Genshin first. Yeah, I'm doing the Genshin Lantern right finally. And I'm gonna get Chingcho's cute little outfit. And I guess do the rest of the event, maybe. Yeah. Okay, uh, thanks for hanging out. See y'all later. Oh, bye bye.